Question 3 from section 1 of the 2018 Higher Physics exam. A block of mass of 6 kilograms and a block of mass of 8 kilograms are connected by a string and a force of 32 newtons is applied to the blocks as shown in the diagram. We're told a frictional force of 4 newtons acts on each block and we've been asked to find the acceleration of the 6 kilogram block. So the diagram, made a little bit bigger, looks like that. And if we put in the frictional forces on the 6 kilogram block, acting back the way, we have 4 newtons. And on the 8 kilogram block, we've also got 4 newtons as well. Now the key thing to point out in this question is that the 32 newton force is pulling this system here. It doesn't know what's behind it if we can give it a sort of kind of feeling. The 32 Newton force only knows that it's pulling a total of 14 kilograms and it's been held back by two lots of 4 Newton forces. In fact, we can draw that diagram a lot simpler. We can draw it like that. We can draw the 8 kilogram and 6 kilogram joined together to make 14 kilogram being pulled by 32 Newtons but held back by the two 4 Newton forces like that. So all we have to do is find the unbalanced force because the unbalanced force in this situation is easily found out. FUN unbalanced force is 32 newtons to the right take away a total of 8 newtons to the left and that's going to give us a total of 24 newtons. So we know the unbalanced force acting on the system is 24 newtons. So we can find the acceleration of the system. Acceleration is equal to the unbalanced force, which we've just found out, divided by the total mass of the system. That's the mass of the two blocks, 14 kilograms. So we've got 24 newtons divided by a mass of 14 kilograms. And if we do that in our calculator, we get an acceleration to two significant figures of 1.7 meters per second every second. So that's acceleration of the system. But what we've also got to know is that because that's acceleration of the system, both blocks will have the same acceleration. So the 6 kilogram block will have an acceleration of 1.7 metres per second. And that's going to give us an answer of A in the answer book. So what's the key points here then? The key points is to treat the 6 kilogram and 8 kilogram block as the one mass, the one system. It's been pulled forward with a force of 32 newtons and it's been held back with a total force of 8 newtons. Find the unbalanced force, 24 newtons. Find the acceleration of the system. And because the two blocks are tied together, the acceleration of the system must be the same as acceleration of each block. So the 6 kilogram block will have an acceleration of 1.7 metres per second every second and so will the 8 kilogram block have an acceleration of 8 metres per second every second. So the answer to this question is A. Question 4 from section 1 of the 2018 Higher Physics exam. A person stands in a weighing machine in a lift when the lift is at rest, the reading on the weighing machine is 700 newtons. The lift now descends and its speed increases at a constant rate. The reading on the weighing machine, well, we're asked to find which one of the following five statements is correct. So let's start off with a person standing on a weighing machine. We'll, we'll neglect the floor of the elevator at the moment. So there's two forces in operation here. The person's weight due to the force of gravity is acting downwards onto the weighing machine. And the weighing machine must provide a support force to stop the person accelerating down. And this support force of the weighing machine is actually called the normal force. And we can re represent that with a vector and it's pointing in that direction and we give it the symbol N. So there's the situation, there's the two forces acting on that uh, system at the moment. We have the weight of the person acting downwards, supported, balanced by the normal force acting in the opposite direction. So when there's no acceleration, when the acceleration is equal to zero, then we have no unbalanced force. The unbalanced force is equal to zero. So the two forces must be balanced and therefore we can say the normal force is actually equal to the weight of the person. In this case, the weighing machine reads 700 newtons, so we have the weight of the person must be 700 newtons. 
Now, what we've got next is the situation where we're accelerating downwards. Now, if we're accelerating downwards, we have an acceleration, a resultant acceleration downwards like that. We can draw the vector as shown. The resultant acceleration downwards will also have an unbalanced force acting downwards. So the unbalanced force is acting downwards. The weight of the person doesn't change because gravity is not changing and the weight of the person is mass times gravity. So there's only one thing it can give here in order to provide a downward unbalanced force and that's the support force of the weighing machine which we call the normal force, the force pushing back on the person. So that must be smaller. So we have to replace that force, the normal force, with a smaller normal force as you can see there. So now the situation is that the normal force to cause this acceleration down the way must be less than the weight of the person. So the normal force must be less than 700 newtons. Now the normal force gives you the reading on the scale. The reading on the scales of the weighing machine is in fact the normal force itself. That's really what the weighing scale is, is reading. So if the lift is accelerating downwards, there's an unbalanced force acting downwards, and this causes the acceleration to go downwards, and therefore we have the normal force must be less than the weight. So in this case, the normal force must be less than 700 newtons. And since the acceleration is constant, the unbalanced force must be constant. So therefore, we are going to have a constant force, which has got to be lower than 700 newtons. So the answer to this question will be B.